Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto, then you are in the right place. Today I have got many huge updates for the XDC community. Today we're going to be looking at something very, very explosive. We're going to be looking at responses from ChatGPT on why XDC is going to be taken as a currency globally so i hope you will stick around to the end as today's video will be explosive and fire as usual so a question that we asked chat gpt was does the fact that xdc is based in singapore position it better than other american-based cryptos to be accepted and adopted globally by various opposing powers in the west as well as the east also including BRICS nations for global trade finance, as well as cross-border payment solutions. And guys, the responses from ChatGPT are mind-blowing. It's given us four amazing points, and we're gonna do a conclusion at the end, guys, based on all these answers, to tie it all together to say why XDC is gonna be a global currency of choice for all of trade and all of value. So ChatGPT says, the fact that XDC is based in Singapore could potentially position it well for global acceptance and adoption, considering several factors related to Singapore's unique position in the global market. And before we talk about point number one, wow, that sounds very amazing, right? XDC is well positioned being in Singapore, but listen to this, it gets even better. Point number one, strategic location and economic role. Singapore is a global financial hub, strategically located in Southeast Asia, acting as a gateway between the East and the West. The geographical and economic position could facilitate broader acceptance of a blockchain network based there, like XDC, particularly in terms of trade finance and cross-border payments. Did you hear that guys? Singapore, a global financial hub. We touched upon this in the last video. The first ones in are gonna be the winners and Singapore is leading the crypto sphere and XDC is based in Singapore. You see that? And it will most likely have advantage over many other cryptos to take over trade finance and all the value going across the borders. So this is amazing guys. Let's look at point number two. Neutral ground. Singapore's political neutrality and stable economic policies could make XDC more palatable to countries in both Western and Eastern blocs, including BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. And guys, even more countries are now joining the BRICS nations. It's becoming bigger and better. Who might be looking for technology solutions that are not directly tied to a major power block like the US or China? Singapore is a political neutrality as you just heard right BRICS nations which are getting bigger and better saudi arabia so many other bigger powerhouses are choosing the BRICS nations they could definitely choose xdc over any us or china based currency so xdc has a major major chance to be global and like i always say a household name but guys wait it gets even better point number three Regulatory environment. Singapore is known for its clear and supportive regulatory framework for cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. To put it quite simply guys, Singapore is leading the crypto space, the crypto adoption. They are the leaders. And carrying on with this guys, this could enhance the credibility and reliability of XTC, making it more attractive to global businesses and governments as a platform for trade finance and cross-border transactions. So guys, this is pretty straightforward to explain. We know that XDC is already regulatory compliant. Singapore has a clear crypto plan and policy, which is why Securitize has chosen XDC to be one of them blockchains to work with BlackRock. XDC would not be on that list if it wasn't regulatory compliant if it wasn't up to standards if it wasn't up to scratch xdc is one of the best blockchains in that list so guys 
be prepared, all right? Let's look at point number four, innovation and technology adoption. Singapore's commitment to innovation and high rates of technology adoption could also support the development and maturity of the XDC network, ensuring that it remains at the cutting edge of blockchain technology. So guys, we already know that Singapore is a crypto hub. It wants to lead this space. XDC being based in Singapore is not a coincidence. XDC being chosen by the big players is also not a coincidence. It's a very easy choice to make. It's a neutral currency, all right? It's not tied by any of the big superpowers. Why would they want to use XRP based in the USA? Just for example, guys, because they don't want to be tied down by any policy related to USA. And XTC being based in Singapore is policy neutral, regulatory neutral. It's neutral in every way. It's a choice that they have to make. And talking about that a bit further, guys, cryptocurrencies based in the USA might face certain geopolitical resistances, especially from nations with tense relations with the US. These nations might perceive American-based cryptocurrencies as being under the influence of US regulation and policies, which could deter their adoption for international trade and payments. Now, this is what ChatGPT told us. This is why I always talk about XDC is one of the neutral currencies. And it makes absolute sense, guys, that the big nations like the BRICS nations, which are only growing bigger and better, are going to be choosing a neutral currency like XDC and not any currency related or linked to USA, Europe or the UK. And to add to this, guys, XDC does have certain advantages. The global adoption of any crypto or blockchain solution depends on a wide range of factors, including technological robustness, security, ease of use compliance with international regulations and integration with existing financial systems. The specific attributes and capabilities of the XTC network beyond just its geographical base will be crucial in determining its success and adoption globally. So we know guys and ChatGPT knows that nothing is going to stop XTC from being cross-border and global. XTC is one currency that the world is already using. Some people know about it. Some people don't know about it. It's not being purposely listed on one of the biggest exchanges in the world, Binance, because they don't want the average person to know because XTC is a easy two to three digit coin. And to wrap this up, guys, let's quickly do a conclusion on what we just heard. Yes, guys, it makes absolute sense if you think about it very carefully. BRICS nations who are currently on a de-dollarization campaign to come out of the US dollar will never agree to use a US-based crypto for international or global use cases. It's very clear, right? Also, the US and the West would not be comfortable to agree on a crypto solution that comes from China or other BRICS nations. Hence, a middle neutral solution may be sought as the compromised solution. This is where XDC might come in. This is where XDC will be that solution. It's very obvious. It makes a lot of sense. Listening to what ChatGPT has told us, I think it's very clear, guys. It gives us more perspective on what XTC could be achieving here. But it does make sense being in Singapore, being politically neutral, policy neutral, meeting all the regulatory requirements in Singapore, now being selected by BlackRock, working with JP Morgan, being a fork of Quorum. It's not a coincidence, guys, that XTC is working with some of the biggest names in the world like R3, SBI, DTCC. It's only getting bigger and better. So guys, be prepared because what I heard today, what we discussed today is nothing short of amazing. So all you have to do right now is believe in XTC, huddle for the long term, diamond hands, and you shall win it all. So that is it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Please hit that subscribe button. Please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that Crypto Ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto. I shall see you on another video tomorrow. Take care.